Hey, hey, how's it going? My name is Heartbeat. Welcome back into this video, and today we are here yet again with another fantastic episode of the Arctic Shack for you, beautiful people. So, in this week's video, we're going to have a very simple topic, but yet at the same time, quite a serious topic because it's going to be all about why do furries hate um, bad looking fursuits? And here's straight to the point. First, first of all, there is nothing wrong with having a, what's considered to other people's eyes, a bad fursuit. So, if you've been told that you have a bad fursuit, doesn't look very good, uh, hasn't been made by a popular maker, who knows? It completely does not matter. Because if you enjoy that fursuit, and if you enjoy wearing that fursuit, there isn't a problem. And it's going to get to a point where... Not everybody is going to have a fursuit from Mischief Makers, or not everybody is going to have a fursuit from Lazy Loops. It's just not physically possible. Not everybody is going to get a fursuit from a popular maker. And the thing is, is that sometimes if you actually look beyond uh, the really popular fursuit makers, you can actually find some really nice small, you know, maybe just brand new or just small business uh, fursuit makers that, you know, might be a bit cheaper, but still make really, really good looking fursuits. I actually might do a video about that, so stay tuned. And say, for example, that fursuit is homemade. They made it themselves, completely from scratch, bought their own foam, fur, sewed it all together, glued it all together, so on, so on. And then they put it on and they look at themselves in the mirror and think, you know what, that is an absolutely amazing fursuit. I absolutely love it. I love the creation that I made. And then you tweet about it or you go out into the public space about it and then get verbally harassed because it looks terrible or... You know, can't take photos with us because, oh no, I have a Walmart fursuit head on. You know, it just doesn't, doesn't make any sense because these people are you. We, those people are obviously furries. We are fursuiters. And to gang up on these sort of people and saying that these ugly looking fursuits, you know, they should be banned and, you know, they're horrible, they're bad. Well, for, first of all, like... If you have a fursuit yourself, and you're saying that other fursuits are bad, first of all, get off your high horse for a brief second. Of course you've got to say that other fursuits are going to look bad just so it can make yours look better. Let's be brutally honest here, kids. Now, don't get me wrong, everybody's opinion matters. If you have an opinion about something, by all means, I don't care. But, the thing is, is that you have to be careful on who you're giving this opinion to. If you're giving this opinion to an eight-year-old girl at a convention, what does that make you? You're just bullying a child just because she's wearing a, a Walmart fursuit head. Like, who cares? It's a furry. And to single everyone out by saying, oh, that suit looks bad, you know, and sending these people harassment and all this sort of stuff, is just beyond belief because everyone keeps saying, oh, the furry fandom is so accepting, it's so loving, it's so caring, but if you release a bad fursuit, oh boy, <laughs> oh, get ready for a smackin' boys. And the thing is, is that you don't understand what these sort of people might be going through. These people might have financial problems and can't afford a very expensive fursuit, or, you know, it's their very first attempt to making a fursuit all of their own. You have no idea. You could be making fun of the brand new Autumn Fallings, or, you know, Mischief Makers, or someone like that. Just because they're starting something new that they haven't tried before, which is obviously fursuit making, or, you know, getting an alternative and, you know, buying a very cheap fursuit. So that's the next thing you need to consider before you start sending these people tons of harassment. You've got to think what you see in their eyes. Of course, they've got to look at their own fursuit and say that it's absolutely fantastic. They will defend it till kingdom come. And for you to turn around and say, oh, that fursuit looks bad, it's just, it's, it's like getting a knife in the chest because it's all of your hard work that you've created or in the small amount of money that you've spent up to buy a very cheap fursuit for the the thing that you love, with this, which is the furry fandom, to do a 180 and single you out because you have a bad fursuit. Like, it, why? We shouldn't be doing this. This is something that is that doesn't look good, it's bullying, and 
you just don't know the, the circumstances of that person because that person, as I said before, financial problems, problems, uh, financial problems. What the fuck? Financial troubles, uh, or they've made their first ever fursuit. You just, you just don't know. So the next time you're walking down a furry convention or at your local fur meet and you come across a furry who, you know, a fursuit doesn't look too good. You know, it may not look the best, you know, it might be, you know, the eyes might not look too good or the head's not shaven correctly or something like that. That really stands out for the other popular fursuit makers. How about you just accept them into your group? Because... That could be a brand new friend standing right there waiting. They could be lonely. It could be the first time at the convention or meet. You have no idea. So invite them over. Have a chat. You know, did you make that? Or who made your suit for you? And just start a general conversation. Because surprisingly enough, those sort of people who do have bad fursuits are people just like us. But anyways... That wraps it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to check out all of my social media links in the description. Give them a follow if you haven't already. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. See you later, mate.